Daniel at the Assessment Toolbox here. We are looking at parentheses, brackets, and braces and what they mean in math. I'm going to explain briefly what these do and then I'll show you a few examples of me simplifying expressions that include parentheses just like our example here. Lastly, I'm going to show you a tricky problem that includes multiple sets of these in the same problem and what we do about that. The first thing that these types of symbols do is they group things. They take a few parts of an expression and group those up so that you know these things are related and they are going to be affected together. So that's a big thing that they do. But here is the number one important thing. Parentheses, brackets, and braces are telling you, do this first. Whatever is in here, that is going to happen before anything else. And so normally when we've got an expression like this, the first thing that we would do is go left to right, and if we find any multiplication or division, we are going to stop there and do those left to right. So normally I would be doing this first because I've got multiply first. However, the braces, brackets, and parentheses overrule that and say actually we're gonna do this first. So that is a major difference than how we normally go about these. So let's take a look at our first example. I'm going to have 6 times 5 minus 2 times 3. And let's switch it up with some parentheses right here. Our main message is do this first. Whatever's in the parentheses, that's going to be the first thing. So I'm going to bring this down 6 times and this is going to simplify to 5 minus 2, it's going to be 3. And then this would come back down there as well. So I'm left with 6 times 3 times 3, and you can simplify that on your own. Let's look at a second example. I'm going to have 7 minus 3 in brackets. Here's the great news. You can have any of these symbols. They all mean the same thing. These things are grouped and you do them first. So I've got 7 minus 3 divided by 2 plus 5. Remember, if there weren't these brackets here, we would be doing this division first, and that could be a tricky one. 3 minus 2 would not give us a whole number. However, let's see what happens when we do this first. 7 minus 3 is 4 divided by 2 plus 5. Okay, we would now, because we've gotten rid of all of these, we continue to work left to right, and if we see any multiply or divide, we do that first. There we go. 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus 5, and you can finish that on your own. Here's the final example, the tricky one. What happens when there are multiple brackets and braces in the same expression? What do we do with that? So let's set up this big one here. And I have 5 minus 3 in parentheses. I'll end my bracket here. Notice I've got even more terms inside that, but that is just fine. It just means that whole big area is grouped together. What do we do when we have multiple sets? Parentheses inside of brackets or something similar? We go inside and find the ones that are most inside the other ones. In this case, the parentheses fit within the bigger brackets, and so I would do that first. And that is always true, even if I added some braces onto the outside just to group this entire expression, I go to the one that is most in the middle, right here, and then I work my way to the next one, which is gonna be those, and I would continue on from there. So that's how you work with that. So starting with the parentheses, five minus three is two, Let's continue this. 2 times 6 is 12 plus 2. That's how you solve it. So hopefully that gives you a great idea of how we use parentheses, braces, and brackets in math. They group things. You do those first. And that's what you need to know. If this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Great job.